Hello everyone and welcome to Control Engineering and Dynamics Tutorials. In these tutorials we present real and applicable knowledge of control engineering, control theory, dynamics and applied mathematics. In this tutorial we explain how to simulate or better to say how to model ordinary differential equations in Simulink. In particular we consider the differential equation given over here. This is a first order differential equation. x is the dependent variable that we want to solve for. That is, we want to compute x of time. x dot is the first derivative of x. That is, d over dt of x. k1 and k2 are constants. And in our simulation, we assume that these constants are equal to 2. And u is an external input. In the case of this tutorial, we assume that u is equal to 1. However, you can generalize everything explained in this tutorial to other functions that are given by u. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to construct the block diagram in Simulink that you can see over here. Moreover, you will be able to compute the solution and the solution can be found by doing a double click and pressing the scope. So here's the solution. It's obviously a first order system and we see a nice asymptotic response. But before I start, I would like to mention the following. First of all, those of you who are my subscribers or who follow this channel know by now that I always create a post that nicely summarizes everything that I will explain in this video. And consequently, here is the post. This post contains diagrams, figures, and equations. A link to this post is given in the description below. Secondly, it took me a significant amount of time, energy, and planning to create this video tutorial and this post. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's start. Our task for today is to model this equation in Simulink. As I mentioned previously, k1 is equal to 2, k2 is equal to 2, and u is equal to 1. These are the constants. Now, the procedure for constructing the Simulink block diagram consists of several steps. First, I will explain the initial step. In the initial step, you need to transform the original equation in this form. Here's our equation. k1 times x dot is equal to minus k2 multiplying x squared plus u. The first step is to eliminate this constant from the left-hand side of the equation. And by multiplying this equation with 1 over k1, we obtain the equation number 2. Okay, so that's the first step. The next step is to eliminate the first derivative of x. How to eliminate the first derivative of x? Well, we will use one trick from Laplace transforms. We know that x dot in the time domain is equal to, or better to say is equivalent to, s times x of s. Notice here that I have a capital x of s since x capital of s is in the Laplace domain. Again, first derivative in the time domain is equivalent to s multiplying x of s, where s is a complex variable, and x of s is the Laplace transform of x of t. By using this trick, we obtain the equation number 3. That is, we obtain the equation given over here. Here, I have to mention one very, very important detail. I'm not applying the Laplace transform to the right-hand side of this equation. Keep in mind that I'm just formally applying the Laplace transform 
to the left-hand side of this equation. Don't forget that. Now we are ready to explain the step number three. In the step number three, we eliminate S from the left-hand side of the equation number three. We can do that by multiplying this equation with 1 over s. And as the result, we obtain our final equation that is at the same time the starting point for creating the simulink diagram. So the original equation that looks like this, k1 times x dot is equal to minus k2 x squared plus u transforms into something that looks like this. Those of you who are familiar, familiar with control engineering and control theory will immediately recognize that 1 over s is actually an integral. So 1 over s is equivalent to integration. Consequently, this equation over here is nothing less than an integral 1 over k1 minus k2 multiplying x squared plus u where 1 over s, again, is an integral. Okay, so let's start with MATLAB modeling. First, we define the constants k1 and k2. You can open a new MATLAB script and you can simply define these constants and make sure that you load these constants in the MATLAB workspace. Okay. The reason is that the simulink can automatically access constants and variables that are defined in the MATLAB workspace. Now, here I will write my equation. So we have k1 multiplying x is equal to minus k2 x squared plus u. And as I mentioned, and as I explained, this equation is equivalent to this equation, multiplying minus k2 x squared plus u. Okay. The first step when constructing the simulink block diagram is to model this part over here. Now, we have to keep in mind that u is equal to 1. Consequently, I need to add a constant in my simulink model. That is, I start from the constant. So let's do that. I will double click over here to bring this window and I will search for constant. Of course, you can also find this block by clicking over here, clicking over here, and then you can find a block in one of these menus. However, I like to do things as quick as possible and I will simply type the name of the block over here and I will bring that block. So this is our constant and is equal to 1. So everything is fine. The next step is to basically model this part over here. We need to model minus k2 x squared. So let us add k2. k2 is basically a gain block. So over here, I will search again, and here is my gain. Over here, I will simply type k2. And you should, be, you should observe, basically, that k2 is automatically recognized here. So its value is equal to 2. This is because we have previously defined k2 in our MATLAB workspace. And Simulink can access all the variables in the MATLAB workspace. Next, I need to model this term over here, x squared. So let's see how to do that. I will double click and I will simply type square. And here's my square block. Then I will connect gain with the square block. And over here, I will type x. So this is my x signal. This is a square function. Over here, I have x squared, so it's a good practice to denote the signal like this. Then I have my gain k2. Now, I need to subtract from u minus k2 times x squared. So to subtract, we need to 
find the add block and here's the add block over here we need to adjust the minus sign that is we need to have here plus and minus and here's our minus sign let me zoom out screen so you can see it over here and over here I can simply connect these blocks and let's label this block as you okay let us analyze this equation over here next I need a gain block that's equal to 1 over k1 so let's create that gain block again double click type gain here is the gain block double click on the gain block and type 1 over k1 and you will see over here automatically the value of this gain will be 0 0.5 this is because k1 is equal to 2 okay connect these blocks now I need an integrator that is I need 1 over s again double click and type integrator so here is the integrator connect these two blocks create an arrow here I will have x dot or let's call it this variable dot x and here will be my x this is because dot x is integrated to obtain x and obviously this whole left hand side or better to say right hand side of this equation is actually given over here next we need to add a feedback that is we need to connect x over here with x over here and here is the feedback so now it's kind of like difficult to connect the feedback however I will manage it to do after a few trials okay so this is our feedback and this is it basically the only thing that we need to add is a scope to print the results that is to obtain the plot here's my scope I will connect scope to X and let us run the simulation and let us see the result and here is the result perfect okay that would be all for today I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I create please press the like and subscribe buttons thank you very much and have a nice day